Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your mid-month reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Cancer. Cancer, please keep in mind this is your general reading for the mid-month starting from 16th of July till 31st of July and it's a group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process my email ID along with the website is mentioned in the description box below. The website has all the details in detail about the tarot readings, different type of readings, healings. You want to learn tarot, you want to learn healing courses. It has all the details in a lovely form. And if you really like what I do here, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Okay, let us see. This is going to be a quick mini reading for mid-month. Let us see what messages do we have for your mid-month starting from 16th of July till 31st of July, Cancer. You have an attachment on which it is important for you to work. Let us see what are your angel messages. Your angel messages. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is so lovely. This is abundance. I hope you're not able to see yes it is better now okay let us see what messages do we have from tarot what messages do we have from tarot for these days you have the chariot major arcana you have a cycle ending which is ten of swords you have a flyer which is king of pentacles and you have queen of wands so you do have the energies of kings and queens into your reading there is something which needs to be end here cancer people and it is a severe kind of attachment which is draining you emotionally which is killing you from inside which is taking away your happiness and you know that very well you are 100% aware, uh, aware that what is it which is not working for you it is just that you are not able to collect that courage to let it go you are not able to uh, accept the situation I, I do not want to blame you for this but as your guide spiritual guide and coach i wanted to encourage you to take this decision for yourself because this is only going to give you contentment freedom independence independence of being into your own energy and space independence of your own self-esteem and self-respect Independence to give priority to your like, dislike, your thoughts, your feelings. You need to work upon on this attachment. And this could be a relationship, personal abusive relationship. This could be a draining job, a workplace. You are not happy. Maybe an unethical place, maybe unhappy place wherein you on daily basis you, you face a lot of criticism. It could be a business wherein you are not enjoying the space you're not growing it could be anything so there is something spiritually mentally emotionally which is draining you and the best part of the reading is that you are hundred percent aware about it that what is it which is not working and what you need to replace the only thing is that you are at the last stage it is just that you have to take the needed action to leave it and move on to your journey what i can foresee from your complete reading is that this is just one last stroke which is ten of sword which says i am done my boundaries are over and i have actually beard a lot i have suffered a lot and i am done with whatever i was going through and there is no more capacity no more space for me to go through it again ten of swords ten of swords is a completion is an ending 
ending of loss ending of painful time ending of emotional pain or hurt and you surrender completely and you declare that i'm done with my boundaries and limit there is no more space for me to adjust compromise modulate myself or surrender what i feel what i want surrender my needs and feeling it's a very intense reading though it's a short reading but it's a very intense reading and when you finally decide to move away walk away from this attachment you finally decide that no i i need my peace my freedom and independence my joy of life you actually move into the abundance space and that is what the angels are saying the meaning of abundance is not just money here the or the career path the meaning of abundance is the abundance of your life happiness joy you will be moving forward on your life journey ahead to live relive life again that is what you have in chariot all the scattered energies of your the bits and pieces will be able to get collected back and you will finally decide to move on on your life journey leaving the old behind leaving the painful stuff behind and the chariot says that it's time for you to to pull your socks be courageous be bold and collect the energies in the different direction to move ahead into one direction big force chariot is moving ahead positive movement but with a great force so for this last hiccup you need to be extremely bold extremely courageous to cross the bridge because post crossing the bridge this is the bridge you have abundance you have king of pentacles the luxury the comfort mental emotional physical spiritual financial every kind of balance comfort luxury and the queen of wands also says that you with your fire energy it's a presence of aries leo sagittarius energy into your reading and the taurus virgo capricorn energy into your reading you are highly highly supported and influenced by these sign people and it also says that with this situation when you will it will get over and if you are looking for a senior position promotion at your job place workplace king and queen confirms the same king of pentacle and queen of wands is a very powerful tarot card combination which says expect a very very major and a transformational change at your workplace and everything is going to lead to abundance so that's the powerful message and yes you are moving into a zone of being more knowledgeable mature and wisdomful i'm not telling you just on the basis of the experience here you are witnessing but king and queen capacity gives you that wisdom that growth of mind to think about the uh, to think about any situation in a holistic way so that's a very powerful reading for you cancer for these 16 days let us see what is the angel number meaning for 7 and it says you are on the right path and the outcome will exceed your expectations the number 7 is a sign that divine magic is supporting you and opening great doors of opportunities for you it's time for you to be aware of such doors and should be able to grab such opportunities when you witness that it is there in front of you be bold be courageous to witness and grab the best for yourself so that's a powerful reading now let us see what is the last message for you cancer people for these 16 days what is the last message and we have ascensions your soul is evolving to higher state of consciousness and you are absolutely ready to receive accept and acknowledge this at this moment of your life and time look at your cards that is what i was telling that it is not just about money career finances or decision no it is just that you are you're done 
and you know that and it is just the last step to cross that bridge because your soul is moving into a higher state of consciousness so that you are aware that it to in order to move ahead into your life for you it is very important to close this door the last the last step towards closing this door you are just there you are almost there so just feel encouraged motivated have all courage be bold and take the decision accordingly best of luck that was your lovely powerful intense reading do let me know how you resonated with it i will see you next time very soon be blessed